We have many challenges. Um, we have uh, two different networks in our network right now. We have a HFC network, legacy network, and one copper network. And we are building our uh, fiber network. So the, the question for us is how to integrate these different networks in order to get a whole network, new network, giving the services to the uh, customers that, want, uh, that, want for, that we want to give the services to. We have two different kind of customers for fiber. Uh, one of them are the enterprise customers. Uh, we have already some customers that have fiber, but we have other uh, clients that have uh, had been attended uh, using radio links because they are very far from the main uh, city. So the big challenge for them is to reach them using fiber. The, those one kind of uh, the customers. The other kind of customers are the the uh, uh, home customers that are able to pay. Or they can afford the cost of uh, using a fiber network uh, to use uh, to see television and use internet in, in a very high level. In Colombia, the content business is just beginning, but um, there are many opportunities for all the OTT uh, service providers that are around the country and around the world. So for us, it's a requirement to have fiber reaching to the homes to reach these uh, high speeds that they need to offer the content services. For example, for uh, football games and those kind of things, but we can uh, uh, solve the last, uh, the, the, in the couple of years uh, before, was that there was a need of content for see the uh, sports all the summer and all the, the time. So there are some people that uh, want to have more uh, bandwidth in order to have this, these services uh, going in their houses. In a long-term basis, I think it's possible. If you look at the business model, you see, for example, five years, there is no business model for five years uh, re return of the money. But if you look at the 10 years and you uh, deploy a very good network, a you know, fiber network that have the capacity to be escalate during the time, um, Maybe you can make money after the 10 years, maybe, uh, of the deployment of the network. But in the short term, no. In the long term, yes, I think it's good, it could, could be possible. And in, uh, if the operator also get, gets involved with the content providers and the OTT providers in order to get some money of their businesses, I think they can combine the access, the access fees and the content fees uh, in order to have a, a whole business model that works. Our countries have been uh, involved in the broadband uh, uh, vision since uh, maybe five years ago. Uh, each country has a different speed to get involved in the broadband uh, scene. But I think uh, that uh, the mobile broadband would be a very important um, uh, fact happening in Latin America, since that will be um, will we allow, excuse me, to the people of the farthest regions to reach to the internet. Today, almost all the cities of Latin America are connected, already connected, but the rural areas are not. So there is a big opportunity for Latin to get involved in the broadband uh, using mobile devices.